Necron 99. All right, hey everybody, what's up? It's uh, 99, and uh, today I've got a little treat for you guys. To show appreciation for um, all the subscribers I've been getting and, um, you know, the views that you guys have been giving me, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little treat. So, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to use the MPK Mini with uh, Beatmaker 2. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just give you some presets. I went through and I mapped everything out for you guys, including, or not only the uh, 16 pads, but I've also included the knobs. I've mapped the knobs to the keyboard inside Beatmaker 2. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get everything set up. So first thing you're going to want to do is go in, or you're going to download the file from the link that I give you in uh, this link right here. <coughs> And what you're going to get is, you're going to get this file right here. It's going to be mpkminipresets.zip. So that's the file you're going to get. And what you're going to want to do is, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you're going to want to extract them. So you can just double click and uh, both Mac and PC should auto extract them. So this is the folder you get after that. It's called mpkminipresets. And inside it, you have five preset, uh, five preset files. One is Beatmaker 2. Uh, one, one's beat make, or I'm sorry, BM21, BM22, BM23, and BM24. And the reason you need four preset files is because there's four banks or four programs that you can put into the MPK Mini. And you're going to be using all four in order to use all the knobs on this uh, synthesizer. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we're going to have to, or you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug your MPC, MPK Mini into the computer. So you go ahead and do that. And then you launch the Akai MPK Mini Editor application. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so you have your 16 pads over here. And I've already mapped out the notes for, for you guys, so um, you won't have to worry about doing any of that. And what you're going to see over here are the presets. So in preset 1, go ahead and click on uh, preset 1. And then what you're going to want to do is tap on or click on load preset. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. So load preset, and then you're going to want to do uh, select BM21. Okay, click open. And now you have that preset loaded here. And what you want to do is upload that preset into your MPK. So in order to do that, you have to click right here where it says preset number, and then you got a box with a 1 in it. Make sure it's on preset 1 because you're going to be putting that into program 1 on your MPK and then click upload and you should get an upload successful uh, box right here. Go ahead and click OK to uh, get rid of it. Now go ahead and click load preset again and this time select BM22. Okay, And you see how it changed the preset number over here? And that's good because you want to, you're going to want to put it into your preset number two on the MPK. So keep it at preset number two. Click upload, and now it's uploaded. Do that for uh, preset number three. Go to load preset, BM23. Click open. It changed it there to uh, preset number three, and then click upload. Upload successful. Uh, load preset one more time. Then you go to BM24. This is your final preset that you're going to be putting into the MPK. Uh, make sure it's on preset 4. Then click Upload and Upload Successful. And now you are done with the uh, computer side of it. So you can go ahead and close out this application, disconnect your MPK from your computer, and then um, I'll show you what to do in BeatMaker 2. Okay, so um, I've got the iPad set up, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get everything working with the MPK. So um, actually, first off, one of my viewers from uh, this video here told me that you don't actually need a powered USB hub to use the MPK Mini, and uh, that wasn't something I was aware of. Apparently, if you plug in the USB cable into the uh, camera connection kit first before you hook it up to the iPad, um, you won't get that power, uh, that power error. Now, there are some uh, USB controllers that are going to need to have a powered USB hub because they require too much power, but the MPK Mini doesn't, and now you can use it with just the uh, camera connection kit. So, um, 
let's go ahead and do that. What you want to do is make sure you plug this into the iPad first, because if you plug it in after uh, you already have BeatMaker 2 launched, uh, sometimes BeatMaker 2 crashes. It doesn't like it being plugged in after. So let's go ahead and launch BeatMaker 2 now. Gonna load a new project. Let's load a drum machine. Uh, Hip Hop Kit number one. Make sure my volume's up. Okay, so I'm going to show you how the pads work. So I've got you have your two your pad control banks right here. So pad uh, bank one and bank two. So bank one is going to give you the bottom row or bottom two rows. Bank two will give you the top two rows. So you can get all your slices set up and and play them all out. Now this you can only use on um, in bank A in, in uh, Beatmaker 2. Bank B and bank C and D. There's not enough banks in the MPK to program that many changes. So uh, you can only use it on bank A. But let me go ahead and show you something that I mapped that uh, was a little bit more than what you may have expected. So let's open up a keyboard sampler. I'm going to go ahead and load just a uh, accordion. Load. So of course the keys work. That was never a problem. But these knobs didn't work before. So I go. I went ahead and I mapped all the knobs and. It looks like there's no knobs here, but if you hit the settings, now you have mode, filter, LFO, and mapping. Okay, so, but if you go to mode, now you can mess with um, program one. So, on the MPK, you have to go to program one, hold the program button, I'm sorry, hold the program button over here, and hit these last four keys at the end, have program one, two, three, and four assigned to them. So, while holding this down, if you hit this, it'll load whatever program you chose. So I chose program one to load. And here we go. So now you can adjust the attack, the decay, the sustain, the release. The glide is down here. And this button is assigned to the amount. Now you, you see it not moving and that's because uh, inside BeatMaker 2, you have to make a couple of adjustments. So in order to do that, hit the home button, tap the MIDI button, actually, each, each instrument has its own MIDI button. So you have to attach, tap the MIDI button for the particular sampler. And if you have more than one keyboard sampler, you're gonna have to do it to each one. I've included a, 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 a configuration file for this in, that, down, in that, uh, that zip folder. So you're gonna have to get it into BeatMaker 2 via uh, Dropbox probably. That's how I got it in. So in order to load it, you just tap the load button here and I put mine in the MIDI, I created a MIDI con uh, config folder and I put it in there and it's named MPK Mini. Let's go ahead and load it, X out, close the home button and now you can see that this knob will control the amount on your uh, volume envelope. So let's go ahead and go to the filter tab. The filter tab, you can see the stuff's not moving so you have to load one of the other four programs. So let's go ahead and load program number two. And that'll get you, I'm sorry. See, now you can mess with your cutoff, your resonance, key, and the attack is, I'm sorry, the amount is over here. Attack, decay, sustain, and release. And, you, and for LFO, you can do the same thing. Just go ahead and load a program number three. And now you have your amplitude of LFO1, offset, and rate. And in LFO2, amplitude, offset, and rate. And uh, lastly, you have program number uh, four. And that one allows you to adjust the volume of the track. So you have to be on this, uh, on whatever instrument you have. And it'll work with the drum machine as well. So you can... Let's see, let's pick a loud one. So this one, uh, this one is the volume. So now I'm full volume. 
you turn it down. Actually, I could do it here. See, and there you go. And this is uh, effects one, effects two, effects three, effects four. And this will um, adjust your pan. And that's when you're on program number four. So uh, there you go. Um, I hope these work for you. And if they do, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if they don't, also let me know. And I can go in and uh, tweak some stuff, fix it, see what's wrong. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, go ahead and like, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.